uh, I'll take that in two pieces. I'll touch again back on the on the privacy piece. Um, I think it's important that before we, as maybe you know, a, a technocrat, bureaucrat, whatever you want to call people like me, um, before we jump in and get excited about the the revenue potential or even the technology behind this, we need to lead with principles, and we first have to help people understand. Um, why we're doing this, why this is important, um, but we also have to lead with the principle of privacy and protecting that privacy of the, the public's data. And uh, we can't presume that people, you know, we say it once and they, and they believe us. Um, so we should always lead with that. You know, it's, it's interesting. You know, the public trust private companies with their information more than they trust the government. Now that that may be, you know, there may be a very good reason for that, um, but I'll tell you that uh, the public has a very uh, very direct um, control over people like me and legislators. They can boot us out quite easily. Um, the average term for a person in my position, I think, is under two and a half years. Um, so um, we're held to a pretty high standard in government. But uh, so what we've been what we've been doing is we've hired a private account manager, and that's the interface with the public. And that private account manager um, keeps, you know, keeps that data, but only for 30 days. The only information that we get as government is anonymized and aggregated data. And so I don't know where you drove on this time during this, you know, time period. We, we don't, we don't see that at all. That data then is expunged. It's, it's deleted in 30 days. And so um, we've put in place, we recognize how important privacy is. So we've put in place those controls because we have to constantly demonstrate to the public that we are not accessing their data. Now, jumping to the idea of educating the public, um, very few members of the public understand how we fund transportation in the first place. Um, you have a very good idea, you know, I think how much you pay for water. Uh, you have a pretty good idea if, you know, however you're heating your home, you have a pretty good idea how much, you know, um, how much fuel you're burning, whether it be natural gas or, um, or oil, whatever it might be. Um, but very few people understand transportation funding and how much they are, how much they are actually paying for, for that funding. Um, so I think we need to help people understand what the cost of transportation is in a better way. And we also need to help the public understand how much, what that Delta is, you know, for years in the transportation business, we tried to keep, we thought we had a one way door and our fear was that money would be taken out of the highway trust fund, that federal money, um, and would be leaked out into the general governance. And, uh, we found that, uh, the door actually, thank goodness swings both ways. And we've been bringing money into the trust fund because, um, it's harder for uh, elected officials actually to cut a program than it is to grow a program. And uh, when the trust fund revenues don't keep up with the expenditures that they've had in past authorizing bills, um, they've actually found ways to bring money into the trust fund. And that's the piece that has us so concerned because that is not a sustainable model for transportation. And if transportation works, we need to have a long range plan and we need to have a way of some predictability into how we're gonna build things. And so I think from the public's perspective, public believes that things should be fair. They don't want people to be treated differently. And if, you know, if one person who's driving a pickup truck is driving the same amount of miles at the same time on the same road as somebody who's driving a Prius, for instance, um, they're not paying the same for that transportation system. They're having essentially the same impact on that transportation system. And so the idea, the principle of fairness is really important for the public, to, for the public. And we need to help them understand that if, you, we, if we went to a VMT fee, um, it would actually be more fair for everybody because everyone would pay for what they use, much like you pay for your water bill. 